Fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Joining the battle from ARMS. It's June, meaning the ARMS character can be announced at any moment now. To build up some of the lost hype, here are my final opinions on who I think will get in, based on popularity and the character themselves. I know whoever they choose might not be for the reasons I explain, but these are just my current thoughts, and I'm wanting to share them due to excitement after a long wait. Springman. This one is the one I am most unsure about, obviously because of the assist trophy thing. Now Springman, he's the face of arms. Let's face it. When you think of arms, you think of him. Well, at least I do. He's the most iconic. He's the most recognizable from both arms fans and people who have never even like played arms. But obviously he's already an assist trophy. There has never been a time where a character has been playable after being an assist trophy in the exact same game. So it would break, I wouldn't say a rule, but more so a trend if he was to come in. Obviously, you probably all know I want him because of the chances of Waluigi being playable increasing, but I'm just gonna face it, I just can't tell if it's Springman or not. From a business standpoint, it would make mo the most sense to do him because people recognize him. I'm sure more people would want to play as him than someone they've never heard of or even seen, but we can't tell. Like, they either break their trend of having an assist trophy break out and be playable, or they go with a less iconic character. Either one I can see equally, but I'm leaning more towards the side of them just picking someone else. And lots of people have mentioned how, like, they, I don't think they'll do that the next character will be from arms listing all the characters only for it to be Springman. that will be a bit anticlimactic so that's Springman. next is ribbon girl i really hope it's not her obviously she is kind of the second iconic character she's also in the box art of the game and i can see her being the character but i don't know i i don't think it'll be her for one reason and that's because even arms fans i i don't think like ribbon girl i could be wrong could be wrong but she seems to be the least like popular out of most of the list on here but they might go with her because she's more iconic who knows if it was her it wouldn't surprise me it'll disappoint me but that's their next most recognizable character i'd say it just means it's not a character that i i don't think many people want her i could be wrong but from what i've seen from multiple different comments on different posts online. She's one of the least requested people and a lot of people have mentioned how they don't want her either. So who knows? Next is Ninjara. I'd be very happy if it was him. He seems to be one of the more popular characters. He's also a ninja. He seems like he would be more of a fighting type person. He's also quite recognizable. He's one of only five of the spirits from ARMS in Smash Ultimate already, meaning that they see him as one of the more popular characters out of the 15 they've listed. So they understand that he is one that most people can recognize. So if they were to go him, I think it would be a good choice because he's still recognizable. He's one of the main cast. And there's quite a lot of people that want Ninjara, including me. That would be really cool to have him. He, he just seems like a cool character. He was fun to play in arms. I don't know. I could definitely see it being him. Then we got Master Mummy. I, mm, that one I'm not really feeling being in Smash. I'm not really feeling it. Sorry, Shul. He's not a character I instantly think of when someone mentions arms. He seems more like a side character to me. As far as Smash Bros go, he would be a heavyweight, obviously. It could definitely still be him. I'm not saying it's not gonna be him. And I know that I think there's quite a small fan base for him. People aren't against him as much as some other characters, but he's not a high-end character. I don't know if many people like him in the base game either. Personally, I didn't like him. His character's okay, but I just can't see it being him, to be honest. Next is Min Min, my most wanted one, that I would be so happy if it's her or Springman for Waluigi but probably not gonna happen just I think I've lost hope not gonna lie but like when she was like first shown to be a character in ARMS everyone loved her she was perfect waifu material for all the weebs out there <laughs> so the, there's a big fan base of Min Min and I absolutely am down for it to be her over anyone else I don't know why I could just I can I can actually see it being her. She seems like she would suit the slot. High popularity, one of the recognizable characters. She's also a spirit already. It'll bring in quite a lot of sales, I'm pretty sure. Kazooie and Byleth technically is the only female uh, DLC character. She'll be the first base female DLC character. I don't know. I am very much leaning towards it being her, and I'm very, very happy about that. What do you think? Min Min for the win win. That, that was a thing people said back in the day, wasn't it? Mechanica? Um, I wouldn't be happy with her. She's pretty cool. She got a robot. 
<laughs> is that that's it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think I've ever, well, as far as comments I've seen, I don't think I've ever seen anyone say they want it to be Mechanica. Like that's generally I can't remember. I don't think I've ever known anyone to say Mechanica's a cool character. I'm not saying she's not, but it's a very forgettable one. I'll say she was in the base game, but I can't imagine it'll actually be her in the end. Let me know if if you like her, if you want her. Okay, next up. Twintel. Damn were the Nintendo fans excited when she was announced as a character for ARMS. Nintendo spicing up their uh, audience, I see. It would be nice to see that in Smash- just kidding. Um, I'm not. Um, but yeah, this, my point is, she is a very, very popular character for ARMS. One of the five spirits, highly wanted as one of the characters. I I'd say she's got equal chances as Min Min due to popularity. She's also a female. There haven't been like any female base characters as far as DLC goes. I remember looking through old speculation videos on who the arms character was going to be and people were like, the announcer said they're going to have extendable arms and Twintail uses her hair. That's not an arm. It's not, it can't be her. I, I get where you're coming from, but she's in a, she's in a game called arms. I, I don't think that I wouldn't cross her out because of that. Just saying, I thought that was hilarious, not gonna lie. But yeah, I, I would be very happy with her too. Next is Bark and Bite. Yeah, it's not them. Do I, like, need to say anything else? Like, no, it, it's not. I'm sorry for any of you, like, three Bark or Bite fans out there, but it, it's it's not gonna be them. And if it is, I'm willing to put something on the line here. I'll buy a Waluigi hat, draw a Waluigi mustache on me for a whole video. Sounds good. That's a promise as well. Kid Cobra, another highly uh, favorited character by quite a few people. Personally, I don't know. I'd be like, cool, Kid Cobra, but not the best. But definitely not the worst, I'll say that. He's got an average size fan base, I'd say. Not as much as like people like Min Min, Twintel, and Helix. As far as people who have never played ARMS before, which I, I am pointing that out most of the time simply because like not really anyone who's not a hardcore Nintendo fan would really have ARMS. So surely they would go for a more recognizable character. But saying that, they could add characters that aren't popular or recognizable they've done it before no kid cobra i reckon he's in the middle he's not very likely he's not unlikely next is helix my boy helix i really want helix not gonna lie ninjara min min twinto and helix are my top four they're the ones i want the most this is gonna sound weird but i i feel i feel like helix is like the waluigi of arms where he has not a cult but like he has a very distinct fan base. He's just that odd character that everyone loves because of how just unusual he is. He's literally like walking DNA, isn't he? Isn't, I, I don't know, something like that. I'd love it being him as like a joke. I don't know if it's a joke character, but like, look at him. He, he's a floppy dude. He's a floppy boy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it would be him. I think that's a weird pick, to be honest. But if it was him, no complaints. Now, the final line is all DLC characters, I believe. Now, overall, I don't think any of them are really highly likely. I'm just gonna go over them quickly because this is what I think. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. It could 100% be one of them. Max Brass. Quite a few people want him, I believe. I've seen quite a few requests. Re- Request- Re- requests for him he seems to be i mean i've never actually played as him but he's got a fist on his head so he he's down for a good fight honestly i don't think it's him if it is him eh, that's one of my least favorite i think lola pop people are afraid of clowns so if they add her they're gonna get low sales clowns is a very big fear phobia i even remember when she was announced as like a playable character for arms that people were like criticizing her online because she was a clown i i would honestly like her like, out of all the DLC, if it's any one of them, I'd want it to be her or Dr. Coil. I'm, I'm not saying that the phobia is going to stop her being playable, but I don't know. A lot of people made fun of the character itself. I don't think many people generally like her as a character. I'm not saying there isn't people that are fans of her. I'd take her as the character, but she's a more controversial one, I'd say. Next, we got Masangno. Masangno? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say Masangno. Um, he, he's a pretty cool character overall. I don't know if many people are a fan of him, but I like his little ghost thingies they're pretty cool he again is just one of those characters where it'll be like it's him if it was to be him it's just an odd one to pick he was one of the dlc characters but i don't think anyone cared when he was added to be honest i just think it'd be very odd for it to be him then we got springtron i think it could be him but he's like the protagonist well not really everyone told me it's dr coil but he's the evil counterpart to springman 
obviously, but them picking Springtron over Springman, the, a the antagonist over the protagonist, would be a very, very weird move on Nintendo. Like, it half represents the game, because it's sort of Springman, but like, surely they wouldn't let the one arms rep be the villain. They could do that, it's a ch there's a possibility they will do that, but tell me one character in Smash Bros who doesn't have the main or one of the main characters representing their franchise in Smash. Like, I don't think there is any. It's either the main character or the main character and a couple of side characters. But it could be him because it's sort of Springman. Or they'll do what I think is a possibility and make it Springman and swap the assist trophy to Springtron. It would literally be a texture swap or a texture swap and add that little mask thing to his face. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure their bodies are like almost identical. It wouldn't be hard to do that. And finally, Dr. Coil. Also the antagonist. I think the main antagonist. More wanted than Springtron, I'd say. Again, female rep. We haven't had a DLC one. I don't know if that's going to impact it at all, but it's a it's a possibility. I'm just looking at all the different types of options that I can think of. She seems like she would be a cool person to add. I could see it being her. Do I want her? Yeah, why not? She looks like a cool character. If they're not going to go with the protagonist, might as well go with the antagonist. I mean, that that's an option. I don't know. It's like, despite us getting who or what franchise the character is going to be from it's still like there are so many options and they can only go with one or can they they could do the multi-character thing like a uh, hero bowser jr can i see that maybe they would have to have the same body type so it'll be the more humanoid characters so like ribbon girl ninjara min min maybe twin is a bit taller than them i think i don't know as much as people are saying it could be that their body types are too distinct but there we go as my thoughts, tell me what you think. Did I forget something? Probably did, because I always do, and people correct me. Thanks, guys. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. Who do you want? Who do you think it is? For what reason? Please subscribe. Anyway, hope to see you in future videos, and thank you all for watching.